Welcome to Electron Online. What are the units used when we're dealing with convection? Well, most of us use metric units, but if you live in the United States, we still use impilly units. And if you look at some old text in many places, including England, Canada, Australia, and the United States, there's some very good old texts out there that still deal with the imperial, imperial units. I have a hard time in pronouncing that word. So imperial units, the transfer coefficients are in terms of BTUs per hour per square feet per Fahrenheit degrees, where in metric units, it's joules per second per square meters per centigrade degrees, which is converted to watts per square meter per centigrade degrees, because a joule per second is indeed a watt. So we might want to ask the question, how do you convert one BTU per hour per square foot per Fahrenheit degrees into metric units? And that begs the question, what is a BTU, a British thermal unit? A BTU is the heat required to raise the temperature of one pound of water by one degrees Fahrenheit. Now, of course, the relation between degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius is nine to five. There are nine Fahrenheit degrees for every five Celsius degrees. So let's first find out what a BTU is and then do the conversion. To find out what a BTU is, we can use the equation Q is equal to mc delta t, and the mass is going to be one pound mass equivalent. So that would be one pound mass. For C, we could use one calorie per gram per centigrade degree, and the delta temperature, of course, is one Fahrenheit degree. Okay, now we have to convert that to metric units. So a pound mass is about 453 point, I guess we could say 0.6 grams. So a pound, of course, is a weight, but converted to mass, it's 453.6 grams. Um, and then we're going to multiply that times one calorie converted to joules. So it would be 4.186 joules per calorie. We still have grams times centigrade degrees. And then here on the Fahrenheit degrees, we're going to convert that to uh, 5 over 9 centigrade degree per Fahrenheit degree. And of course, uh, in this case, we have, let's see here, hmm, I think I'm messing that up just a little bit. Let me try that again. So we have one Fahrenheit degree, but we're going to multiply that times uh, 5 over 9 centigrade degrees per Fahrenheit degree. So now notice that the Fahrenheit degrees cancel out, the centigrade degrees cancel out, the grams cancel out, and we have calories up there, so the calories cancel out, and we have joules. Yes, the end result will be in joules. Now we need a, a calculator. So we have 453.6 times 4.186 times 5 divided by 9 equals 1055. So Q equals 1 BTU equals 1055 joules. So that's the conversion from a BTU to a joule. Now we can go ahead and do the conversion to metric units. So a BTU cannot be replaced by 1055 joules divided by hour. Well, to go from hours to seconds, we need seconds in the denominator and we need hours in the numerator. So hours in the numerator, one hour is 3,600 seconds. So I've converted from hours to seconds. Now I need to convert to meters squared. So I need uh, feet squared in the numerator and I need meters squared in the denominator for the conversion of feet squared. Now, one foot is 0 0.3048 meters, so we need to square those. There we go. And finally, Fahrenheit degrees to centigrade degrees. We need um, Fahrenheit degrees in the numerator, centigrade degrees in the denominator. Five of these is nine of those. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. I think I have one, yes, I think I'm good. So what I can do now is the following. I can multiply all that out. 
I have 1,055 uh, times 9 divided by 3,600. And of course, what I want to do, of course, is this here. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this and I need a term of B to U in here. So 1,055 joules is one B to U. To have that conversion factor, have a conversion, conversion factor for the hours, for the square feet, and for the Fahrenheit degrees. That's a more proper way to write it. So let's start over again. So we have 1,055 times 9 divided by 3,600 divided by 0.3048 squared and divide by 5 equals, and notice that this, so 1 BTU per hour, per feet squared, per Fahrenheit degrees, is going to be equal to 5.68 joules per second, per meter squared, per centigrade degree, which means that it's equal to 5.68 watts, per square meter per centigrade degree and that is the equivalence of one BTU per hour per square feet per Fahrenheit degrees just in case you're interested and that is how it's done.